The Brits are still to go. Leon Flack and Dave Allardyce. Allardyce will go in heat number four. Confirmation, Simon Van Vossel and Apollo Anton Ono. The qualifiers from heat two. So to heat number three. And here we've got Marc Gagnon from Canada, who dominated short track in the 1990s. Christian Zabo from Hungary. The champion, Takatumi Nishitani, who won this event in Nagano. And uh, Volodymyr Hirohir of the Ukraine. And the full start. Gagnon there, bronze medalist in the 1500. Wonderful for him to finally get an individual medal. He was a gold medalist in the relay back in 98 and uh, won bronze in the 1000 back in Lillehammer. Another full start. And see how desperately keen they are to get a good position at the first bend. Yes, it's crucial to. Uh to get your position sorted out going into this first corner and they're all looking for the B of the B of the bank. Well, pretty difficult to see out of that. It was. Exactly who was called for the full start. Very tense. Skater position number one, you have one false start. That's Fioria oh. from Ukraine and that's Gagnon. So uh, definitely a full start for him. Skater position number three. Well, it's tense. You have one false start. I think it's the Ukrainian, isn't it, that had the uh, previous full start? Yep. Here we go then. And it's the Ukrainian in the lead from Nishitani in second place, Gagnon third, and Christian Zabo for Hungary in fourth. And here comes Nishitami making his move. So it's the reigning champion who leads at the moment, but the Ukraine having none of it just can't get past him though. Gagnon making his move now up on the inside. Well, that was very smooth indeed. And the Ukrainian goes down, but uh, I don't think there was any contact between him and Gagnon. Now, these two can uh, just comfortably cruise home now. Gagnon looks behind and knows he's done enough, and I think maybe having a word with Nishitani. Nishitani and Gagnon, the qualifiers from heat number three, they go through to the quarterfinals, and really they couldn't have had it any easier. No, it was a bit dicey at the beginning. I thought Gagnon had got himself uh, into a bit of a, a nasty situation, boxed in there in that third spot. But uh, when the door was left slightly ajar, he uses all of his experience. He's so powerful, and look at this. This was the move. Nips up inside, no problem at all. And uh, there he goes, just losing his footing. You get some quite deep ruts on the corner. And uh, on that right foot, he just looked as though he caught the front of the skate, lost his footing, and crashed into the boards. Holds his head. They get a lot of whiplash when they hit the boards. You see the thickness of the padding there. Yes, These guys a, really are motoring. It's a sickening thud. And even though they had uh, seemingly an age to prepare for it, nothing quite prepares you for that. <laughs> so confirmation, Nishitani for Japan, the reigning champion in this event, and Mark Gagnon goes through. So to heat number four, there is the man in the midst of all the controversy, Kim Dong-sung, who I think all of us thought deserved the gold medal. He didn't get it, and maybe he'll get some... Revenge here. Up against him, Rusty Smith from the USA. Dave Allardyce goes for Great Britain. 27-year-old. In his second Olympic Games. And Ganbat Yagan Chaloun from Mongolia. Glad you said that. And again. Dave Allardyce, his first event here in these Olympics. 
member of the relay team who was seventh in Nagano, and it's Allardyce who gets the full start. Two to qualify, remember. And a warning for Yaglan Chaloon. It's actually him that got the full start. So. Yes. And that was Rusty Smith, no doubt about that. Six in the 1500 here. And it's uh, Allardyce who gets the jump early on. Allardyce who leads. Very tough here. Remember, two go through, and you'd have to think it would be Kim and Smith. But it's Allardyce who leads at the moment for Great Britain. Then Kim, then Smith. But quickly it changes. Kim puts in a first. Smith second. Now, can Allardyce hold on? He's really got his work cut out now. Blistering start, but... Uh... I can't see him getting back into this. He couldn't have a tougher heat, and it looks like the two favourites are going to go through. Allardyce oh. making a bit on the inside, but he's just failed. Good effort, but it's Kim who goes through. Kim disqualified from the 1,000 uh, metres. Now makes it through to the quarterfinals of the 500, and uh, I think his move at the end just got him in first place, but it's immaterial. It's the first two who qualify. Here's where they made their move on Allardyce. Well, Rusty Smith with uh, a very impressive turn of speed, and he did well coming out of that final curve. You can see he's got the... Uh, Got the measure of Kim even, as far as the speed's concerned. If it had been another couple of metres, who knows, he might have crossed the line first. So those two go through. I can tell you that in heat number five, Leon Flack unfortunately failed to make it through. Only just, just beaten out of the first two places by Fabio Carter and Bruno Loscos. We move on now to heat number seven. And in this we have Balash Schnock from Hungary, Ready. Satoru Tarao of Japan, Jonathan Gimet from Canada, and Miroslav Biojev for Bulgaria. And it's the Japanese who leads out from the Canadian. Tarao, 12th in the 1,000, competing in his third Winter Olympic Games. Controversial is disqualified in that thousand. Out to make amends here. Gimet makes the move on him as we get to the bell. It's Gimet from Tarao. Knock in third place, but I don't think he's going to make it through. And very close across the line. Difficult to pick. 42.33. That is an Olympic record. But who too? The camera's on to Rao, but I think it was Jonathan Guimet who just pipped him on the line. Yes, I think so. It was an impressive finish and an impressive start from Tarao. But uh, I think it's this man that actually crossed the line just in front. Remember, the skaters, the tip of the blade that's crossing the line, that's what uh, the gun is measuring the time from. Nishitani who we saw earlier on, the uh, champion here, had the Olympic record 42.7. This is um, massacred it, 42.326 in the end, it's rounded up to. World record 41.51. We can hardly split them there, look at that. No, but it just looks as if uh, on the outside, Shemet has qualified in front of Tarao. And there's confirmation, we'll be right back. The figure skating competition.